All right, today I'm going to be putting oobleck in my vacuum chamber. So oobleck is a really cool fluid. It's a non-Newtonian fluid. So what that means is that its viscosity is dependent on the shear rate. So the harder you try to move it, the more it acts like a solid. And when you don't try to move it, it acts like a liquid. So you can see when I strike it with a hammer, it's almost like I'm just hitting a solid because the shear rate is very high, so the viscosity becomes very thick, almost like a solid. But if you just hold it in your hand, it just flows through your fingers like a fluid. So it's a really cool fluid that portrays the weirdness of non-Newtonian fluids, but it's actually not very rare to be a non-Newtonian fluid. They're all over the place. Ketchup is a non-Newtonian fluid, toothpaste, and many other normal fluids we use in our everyday life is non-Newtonian. But oobleck is the funnest to play with. Okay, so this should be pretty cool to see because normally if you wanna boil oobleck, uh, when, as soon as you heat it up, the starch starts to coagulate and it thickens and it becomes just this glob. Um, but in the vacuum chamber, since we can boil it at room temperature, we can get it to boil without heat, and so it's not going to coagulate. So we're gonna to try to boil the oobleck. And also there's probably a lot of air stuck in there, so the air should expand also. So let's see what it looks like in the vacuum chamber. And then after we look at this big bowl, I'm going to put it in a smaller cup so it overflows, and I wanna see how it flows while it's boiling and see if it flows differently under vacuum while boiling than it does in atmospheric pressure. And I'll do that one at the end. Okay, oobleck in a vacuum chamber. Three, two, one. Looks like it's starting to release some of that air. And we'll see if it looks more like a fluid or a solid. Okay, I can't really tell if it's boiling or that's just the air inside releasing. But it's definitely expanding a lot. So that's weird, it doesn't look like a solid at all. That just looks like bubbling liquid. Okay, we're at as pretty much as good a vacuum as I can get with my vacuum chamber. So this is what boiling oobleck looks like. Whoa, what's happening? Wow, that's weird. Looks like it's breathing. That's weird. So what's interesting is that I had put food coloring in this to make it green. Uh, that's how I made my oobleck green. And it looks like in the vacuum chamber it separated out again. You can see on the sides here there's more food coloring. 
there's streaks of it. It was pretty well mixed before, but it kind of came separated. I've never seen food coloring come out of a mixture before. It's interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna do it one more time, but this time I wanna see if it overflows and starts flowing down the cup, does it drop and look like liquid or a solid when it's under the vacuum? Ooblick under vacuum again. Three, two, one. Okay, it's overflowing, but not moving very fast. <laughs> so when you just look at the liquid boiling, it looks like it's just a normal liquid. But then once you see it start overflowing over the side, you see how slow it's actually moving. Finally, it's dripping. Okay, let's let the air back in. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Interesting, it looks like it flows a little bit better once we're in atmospheric pressure. I think because there's not bubbles pushing out against it, so the shear rate is not as high, so it flows more like a liquid. At least that's what it looks like to me. Looks like it's going a little bit faster. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode. If you haven't subscribed yet, remember to subscribe and you can comment in the comment section with what you'd like to see me do next. Uh, what you'd like to see me put in the vacuum chamber or my hydraulic press or anything else cool or scientific you'd like to see me do, let me know in the comments section and I'll see you next time.